I still have no idea how I carry this with me every single day. What is up, people of the internet? My name is Avery, and I'm a second year electrical engineering student at the University of British Columbia. I'm also a commuter student as well, which means that I have to carry a lot of stuff with me every single day to campus which will probably contribute to future back pain problems as this thing probably weighs 30 pounds with everything in it. So in this video, I'm gonna go through exactly what's in my backpack and what I carry with me every single day to campus as a commuter student. Starting with the backpack itself, this is the Herschel Little America backpack and I've had this backpack for about four to five years now and it has held up surprisingly well. It's comfortable, it can hold a lot of stuff, it looks good, and if you haven't noticed already with my channel and basically, yeah, basically my life, I really like the color blue. So this backpack definitely fits my life pretty well. But enough about the backpack itself, let's get into what's inside. Undoing this flap and undoing this drawstring, the first thing we've got in here is my pencil case. Now, with my pencil case, I have just a bunch of stuff in here related to taking physical notes or just write handwriting stuff. So in this first compartment here, I've got all my pens, and all my pens that I need for each individual subject for my bullet journal, which I just like to keep things color-coded. And I also have a regular black pen, a mechanical pencil, correction tape, and an eraser in here. That's that compartment. And in this compartment, I just have some ruler. I just have some rulers. Let's see, extra graphite for my mechanical pencil. And I also have my another ruler in here. <laughs> and I also have my Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus calculator. Um, this I needed to use for Physics 170 in first year, but I also used it in Elect 201 this semester um, just to solve some of the systems of equations that we had to solve with our circuit analysis. So that was definitely very handy and I just keep it all in this one Lithit Lab pencil case. The next thing that I got in my backpack is very much a necessity on public transit and those are my Bose QC45 headphones. Yes, public transit can get very noisy sometimes and I do love to just drown out the noise and just vibe out to my music with these headphones. They're really comfortable, they sound good, and they just let me dance along with my music on the bus. The next thing I got in here is my water bottle. Make sure to stay hydrated, everyone. That reminds me. The next thing I got in here is my bullet journal. So this year I chose the color turquoise and for 2024, I think my brother got me an, an army green color. So I like to switch it up every year. But this is pretty much my personalized planner that I used to plan, well, everything in my life. Pretty much like, all the tasks that I have to do, homework, events, things, just everything in my life. So I don't have to keep it up in here. And I've been bullet journaling for, is this my third year now? It's going to be four years. I started in 2020 and I have never looked back and it is such a great way for me to organize my life, pretty much. The next thing I got in here is a little bit different from last year because I finally got an actual tech organizer for all of my chargers, cables, and charging related accessories. Basically in here and a bunch of other tech related stuff as well. So the first thing I got in this compart in this pouch here is my Logitech MX Anywhere 3 mouse. I have the Master 3 mouse, but I wanted a more portable version to basically take with me to campus and luckily this one existed. So it basically has almost all the functionalities of the MX Master, which I love, but in such a small form factor that I can just fit in this compartment or this pouch and just take it with me to campus, which is why I love it. I also got a bunch of cables in here, some charging bricks as well for my Dell XPS and for my iPad and iPhone whenever I need it or if I want need to lend it to someone and just a bunch of other cables, dongles and other stuff in here as well. 
all packed into one very neatly organized tech organizer from Herschel. The next thing I got in here is an umbrella because I do live in Vancouver and we are definitely subject to a lot of rain. So always handy to have an umbrella on me because I never know when it's gonna rain and when it's not going to rain. The next thing that I got in here are just some folders for paper related stuff whether it be some notes that I have to take or printing materials for a class. I don't usually take printed notes or I don't usually use paper all that much in many of my classes, but this semester I have had to use it a little bit because we are allowed information or cheat sheets in some of our exams. So that's why I like to have some folders here just to be able to store some paper in there in case I need it. The next thing that I got in here is my lunch bag because food is very expensive on campus and I definitely like to bring my own lunch just to save some money and yeah, just basically just saving money. <laughs> the next thing that I got in here is my M1 iPad Pro from 2021. This thing I used basically to death in first semester and in first year as well. Um, yeah, I use it so much to take all my notes, to write down the work for all my assignments and just to basically manage all of my all of my schoolwork, all, almost all of my schoolwork that can be done with PDFs. So this thing, I love this thing and I wouldn't trade it for the world. And let's see, the next thing we got in here is my scientific calculator. It's just a Casio one that I've had since I think grade 11. And this thing, I use, I use it mainly for quicker calculations. My Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus, I use it more for the complicated stuff like the systems of equations. This, if I just need a quick calculation, I'll just pull this out and do it then. And the last thing that I got in this, com in this compartment is my Dell XPS 15, which is the same laptop that I've had for the last year. This thing is a real big boy. It's like four and a half pounds, I think. And even though I had a not so pleasant experience with it in the last year or so, I still use it. And I'm gonna have another video coming about, out soon about an, a laptop that I unboxed, used, and then returned because I realized it was just not as good as my Dell XPS. So I definitely took a lot of stuff for granted with this one. So that's why I keep using it and it has served me well for pretty much most of my engineering work so far. That's the main compartment. Now let's go get into this smaller compartment at the front, which I do have some 3D printed keychains along the side here. One of some AppSci 100, another one is for UBC Subbots, which is the design team that I'm on for this year. It's getting into this compartment here. I have my AirPods, which are the third generation AirPods. I don't use the AirPods Pros because I don't like the feeling of the rubber ear, of the silicon ear tips in my ears. I just feel like it feels like um, like a lot of pressure is building up in my ears, and I don't like that. I prefer the kind of just resting in your ear design, which is why I love my AirPods 3s. Next thing I got in here is my wallet. Let's see, a container of mints because I don't like having bad breath. A packet of tissues because I am prone to having allergies sometimes. So just have some tissues here, it's just really nice. And last thing I got in here attached to this keychain is my keys attached to an air tag just so I can keep track of all of this and hopefully I never have to lose my backpack if someone does attempt to steal it. Wow, looking at it on my table right now, it's definitely a lot and I can definitely see where all the weight is coming from. It's mostly coming from my laptop and my iPad per se. All right, so i um, editing Avery here and there are two things that I forgot to mention that I kind of brought with me to campus in first semester of second year. There are two kits that I had to buy for Elect 201 and CPEN 211. The first thing is this DE1 SOC kit. This was for the CPEN 211 labs that we had to complete. 
And the second thing that I had to get was the second year Elect Parts Toolkit, which if you watched my vlog, it's the cardboard box that I carried with me to my Elect 201 Labs and did my first, my second CPEN 211 Lab with. And that is currently on campus. I do not have it with me right now, but that was also something that I had to bring around with me on a weekly basis. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that I carry with me and everything that's in my backpack as an electrical engineering student at UBC. As always, gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.